Hello, everyone, and welcome to week seven. I know you're working really hard on your literature review, so I promise not to keep you long, and I promise to keep the work down to a minimum this week so that you can go ahead and finish your work on this very important project of the literature review. But the first thing I want to bring to your attention is some important information in this week's class announcement. So let's take a look at this. As you can see, I am uh, going to talk to you about open-ended versus close-ended or yes-no questions. Now, in this course, you are to write an open-ended research question. And all that means is that your question must have one of the four W words or the H word. The four W words being who, what, when, and where and any variations of those, and of course any variations of the H word as well. Uh, how much, how, how soon, etc. So it's very important that you realize that this research question must be open-ended because you're going to be devoting 20 pages to answering it. Now about those 20 pages, I've also got some hints for you here that I want you to look at. Once you have a good research question, one of the things you'll find is you can clearly break down exactly what it is you should be looking for when you're doing that research. For example, on this first question, how will President Obama's stimulus plan positively affect federally funded programs, higher education facilities, and research departments? Now, clearly, everything that this researcher is going to look for is going to have to be a positive effect of the stimulus plan. Positive effect number two of the stimulus plan. Positive effect number three of the stimulus plan. And you see that same formula being applied in each one of your questions. Here's the next one. What is the impact on human health of ground and surface water contaminated with pharmaceuticals? Clearly, this researcher must look for impacts. Impact number one on human health of this contaminated water. Impact number two on human health. Impact number three on human health. So as you can see, once you've got a good research question, you should be able to clearly determine exactly what it is that you're going to be looking for. And therefore, streamline, focus, laser in, on all of your sources and find the information that helps you answer that question and disregard the less. So all of these can clearly follow the same pattern. What factors play into multinational corporations' decision to place or not to place females in international position? Clearly, this researcher is going to be looking for factors that influence that decision. So keep that in mind whenever doing your literature review and certainly whenever it comes to writing your first draft. 